afternoon, everyone. My name is Faith Takis, and I'm the chairwoman of the board of Empire Education Corporation, which is the operating company that owns the Mildred Ellie Colleges. I welcome you all to this graduation this afternoon, and I bring you best wishes from all the faculty and staff of all the Mildred Ellie Colleges located in Albany, New York, Manhattan, and Pittsfield, Massachusetts. It's interesting to know that your graduating class, which has made it through a very historic time in this country's history, is matched to the first graduating class of Mildred Ellie, the class of 1919, which also graduated during our country's first pandemic, many times referred to as the Spanish influenza. Although there was no graduation in 1919 either, one single photograph remains showing the class of 1919. With the help of modern technology today, we're able to do a much more vivid celebration of your graduation, even though we can't be all together. We appreciate you taking the time to participate in this ceremony, and we wish you all the best as you move forward on your journey to a new career. Thank you. Hello everyone. My name is Dr. John McGrath. I'm the Chief Executive Officer and President of Mildred Ellie College. To the academic and administrative leadership at Mildred Ellie College, the family and friends, and most of all, the 2020 graduates of Mildred Ellie. It is an honor to be with you all virtually today through video conferencing. I truly miss not being able to be there to personally shake your hand as you cross the stage. But the coronavirus pandemic has created many challenges, but our college community has risen to the occasion. And this virtual graduation is a testament to our collective ability to, adapt, to adapt to circumstances. My remarks today will principally center on two general themes related to changing the world. The first is the, prog is the proposition that human progress never rolls in on the wheels of inevitability. And the second is that true genius, true genius is based upon courage, determination, passion, and creativity. The Reverend Martin Luther King gave a commencement address to the graduating class of Oberlin College in 1965. He reflected about the fact that we're all dependent upon one another, that we make our own future, that human progress never rolls in on those wheels of inevitability, or simply stated, the best way to predict your future is for you to create your future. Reverend King theorized that all mankind is tied together. All mankind is related. It's interrelated, and we are all caught in the inescapable network of mutuality. We are all a single garment of destiny. Whatever affects one directly affects all indirectly. And of course, Dr. King champ championed the movement that black lives do matter. He believed that we must come to see that human progress is not inevitable. It comes through the tireless hard work and efforts of per persistent dedicated individuals. Because without hard work, time becomes an ally of primitive forces of social stagnation. So we realize that time is always right to do right. So what is Dr. King's message if he were here today? You, the graduates of Mildred Ellie, must do the right thing to positively change the world. And you're off to a great start. Today you earn a college degree. Today you earn a certificate, which is a testament to your intellectual ability and your spirit of determination. And as you know better than anyone else, you earned it. And no one, no one can ever take a college degree or a certificate away from you. You dreamed about this day, sometimes against all odds, but you did not give up. Many of you juggle the competing demands of family, work, and college. Some of you are parents. Some of you are even single parents. But despite all the obstacles, despite all the times it would have been just too easy to give up, you said no. You know, there's a simple rule for successful leaders. If the front door is closed, then go to the back door. If the back door is closed, then open a window. And if that window won't open, climb up on the roof and cut a hole in that damn roof, but get into the house. 
because that's what leaders and winners do. Courage, passion, determination, and creativity are the true genius of champions. You, the graduates of Mildred Ellie, are champions. Champions are champions not always because they do something extraordinary, but they do ordinary things better than anyone else. The confident person doesn't concentrate or focus on their weaknesses. They maximize their strengths. My father always said to me as a young man that courage is half the battle, and he was right. Persisting in graduating was the right move. You academically prepared yourself in a very, very competitive world. My dad also had these words of wisdom. He said, son, the person that knows how, knows, knows how will most likely have a job, but the person that also knows why is most likely to be their boss. You invest an important part of your life earning this college degree or certificate. The faculty intellectually challenged your mind, wanted to give you a great intellectual foundation and the gravitas to reach greater heights. You know, throughout my life, I've been influenced by many philosophers that I read about, intellectuals, political leaders, civil rights leaders, and yes, even athletes. And I'm gonna quote a few of them because they mean so much to me and I hope they mean something to you. The first is to go after your dreams. Harriet Tubman stated that every great dream begins with what? A dreamer. Always remember that you have within you the strength you have within you the patience and the passion to reach for the stars and to change the world. Be, be courageous, none, none other than John Wayne. He stated, courage is being scared to death, but saddling up anyway. Don't settle in life, Nelson Mandela, the great civil rights leader from South Africa. He stated, I learned that courage was not the absence of fear, but the triumph over it. There is no passion to be found in playing small and selling for a life that is less than one you're prepared to live for. Education, he stated, is the most powerful weapon which you can use, education, to change the world. Stand up for your principles, Malcolm X. Education is the passport to the future, for tomorrow belongs to those who prepare for it today. A man who stands for nothing will fall for anything. A college education brings life or life into your life. Victor Hugo stated, he who opens a school door, he closes a prison. Don't be afraid to fail. Perhaps the best intellectual genius in the world of all time, Albert Einstein stated, a person that never made a mistake never tried anything new. Great minds have always encountered violent opposition from mediocre minds. Stand strong against opposition. Martin Luther King stated one of my favorite quotes, courage comes through continuous struggle. We must straighten our backs and work for our freedom. A man can't ride you unless your back is bent. Don't give up, Michael Jordan. He stated, I've missed more than 9,000 shots in my career. I've lost over 300 games in basketball. Over 26 times I've been trusted to take the game-winning shot and I missed. I've failed over and over again in my life, but that's why I succeed. I have never been afraid to fail in order to win. And one of my favorites, Rocky Balboa, that great intellectual genius, almost up there with Einstein. He was talking to his son in Rocky V, and he stated to his son, let me tell you something you already know, son. The world, all ain't, they, the world ain't all sunshine and roses. It can be a mean and nasty place, and I don't care how tough you are, it will beat you to your knees and keep you there permanently if you let it. You, me, or nobody is going to hit as hard as life. But it ain't how hard you hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. That's how winning is done. Now, if you know what you're worth, then go out and get what you're worth. But you've got to be willing to take the hits. And not pointing fingers that you're not where you want to be because of him or her or anybody. Cowards do that, son, and you're not a coward. You're better than that. And I'll end up for quotes with Muhammad Ali. In this section, he stated, with respect to having confidence in yourself, I'm so fast that last night I turned off the light switch in my hotel room and I was in bed before the room went dark. If you ever dreamed of beating me, you better wake up and apologize. So I'm challenging you, the graduates, to seriously consider where you think you'd like to be three years from now. Where are you gonna be five years from now? How about 10? I'd like for you to go home tonight 
and to write those things down. Where are you going to be three years, five years, and ten years from now? What do you believe is going to happen to you? And then hide it. And then go back to it and read it from time to time throughout your life. And after sincere reflection, you may want to change your future goals given life's realities. But leave your original goals for contemplation. Did your dreams come true? What are your new goals? What are your new dreams? What makes you happy? And what is your existential definition of success? I want you to reflect upon your life intellectually and spiritually, but never be afraid to do something because someone's going to criticize you about it. Don't be afraid of critics. There's always plenty of those. Stand up to it. I like to quote President Theodore Roosevelt with respect to handling critics. It's not the critic that counts. You are the man who points out where the strong man stumbled or where the doer of deeds could have done better. The credit belongs to the man who's actually in the arena, whose face is marred by dust, sweat, and blood, who strives valiantly, who errs and comes up short again and again because there is no effort without error and shortcoming, but who does actually strive to do the deed, who knows the great enthusiasms, the great devotion, who spends himself in a worthy cause, who at best knows in the end triumph of high achievement, and who at worst, if he fails, at least he fails while daring greatly, so that his place will never be with those cold and timid souls that know neither victory nor defeat. Remember, again, that great intellectual genius, Rocky Balboa. It's not how many times you get knocked down in life. The only thing that matters is how many times did you get back up again. Stay strong. Stay passionate. Always follow your heart and trust yourself. Pursue your dreams with dignity and just don't ever give up. And I'll leave you with an Irish blessing. May the roads rise to meet you. May the wind be always at your back. May the rains fall softly on your fields. And may God forever hold you in the palm of his hand. And I wish you could be here walking across the stage because if you were here, I'd stay, shake my, stick my hand out and shake your hand to congratulate you as being a graduate of Mildred Alley. God bless you. Ronke Aboyeji. Benson Achi. Stephanie Acosta. Oluwatosin Adekunle. Abiola Achampong. Tyra Alado. Liana Alexis. Shashin Allen. Maria Alvarado. Shatice Anderson. Siobhan Antoine. Lakeisha Armstead. Fatumata Ba. Isatu Barry. Bernisa Belazer. David Bennett. Nicole Bianco. Esther Blaze. Sean Boyce. Gloria Britton Clark. Brittany Brooks. Dorica Brown. Portia Brown. Shaquille Butler. Ebony Caceres. Lisa Caesar. Tracy Campbell. Myra Santiago Casibang. Cristela Casales. Stacy Collington. Chanel Collins. Khadija Cook. Kelly Corbett. Wanda Cordez. Cheyenne Cornelius. Melanie Crockwell. Christina Kroom. 
Tamara Cruz. Patricia Daniels. Omu Diallo. Venise Drisdale. Jolene Dunlap. Khadija Edwards. Faye Elthorpe. Jessica Espinosa. Carolina Estevez. Dulce Estrada. Rudaline Axelis. Yakira Fitzpatrick. Amaryllis Flores. Dominique Fox. Courtney Francis. Tamara Francis. Naima Francois. Love Garcia. Livasia Gatling. Paihe George. Sarah Gilman. Katrina Gonzalez. Joel Granville. Milena Guerrero. Amanda Hamilton. Edtrina Harrison. Jessica Hassett. Jocelyn Hernandez. Karen Herrera. Janair Hill. Raquel Hurst. Tony Ann Ivane. Barbara Jackson. Kazell Johnson. Kimberly Jones. Barbara Joseph. Rosaline Kalu. Tanya Kelly. Michelle Kemp. Adebowale Keladejo. Koaku Jean Yves C. Kofi. Prudvi Krishna. Ariola Lawal. Rodina Lee. Shanna Levy. Michelle Lewis. Sharita Longmore. Jasmine Medina Lopez. Jerry Lee Lucas. Leanne Madera. Glenys Madera Ferrand. Danielle Maynard. Amanda Mazza. John McNally. Corinne McPherson. Joyce Mensa Quay. Domingo Mercado. Kaina Mervayard. Kenya Millard. Marcia Miller. Elwyn Moore. Jocelyn Munoz. Wynette Ned. Cassandra Junie Nelson. 
Esther Newton, Elnatine Nicholas, Noella Ensende, Priscilla Nunes, Makeda Omis, Ege Omorgbe Akpata. Jerlene Ortiz Yamali Ostang Tiffany Paris Tykeria Philip Sushila Devi Pudel Baral Lenora Quilden Karina Quinones, Savesh Rabindranath, Basmati Ramcharitar, Karina Ramirez, Jeanette Rivera, Maritza Rivera, Marianne Rivera. Shirley Robinson, Vivine Robinson, Catherine Rosario, Andrea Rowe, Kadidia Sal Epps Diallo, Janae Sanders, Celeste Saunders. Robert Sawyer, Joshua Schnapp, Latrina Scott, Megan Shears, Alexis Shields, Shante Simpson, Tina Marie Smith. Natika Summers, Sabrina Spitz, Beverly Stewart, Isato Sunbundu, Shinese Sutherland, Charles Tafa Senam, Grace Tarr. Oprah Ubeze, Tracy Van Alstein, Lucinda Vargas, Cassandra Varno, Sirita Vaughn, Hema Valitum, Aldrich Victor. Simone Victor, Cecilia Vital Pips, Christine Washington, Olive West, April Wilkinson, Diamond Williams, Shanique Williams. Brian Winchell, Sarika Wright, and now the moment we've all been waiting for. Will all the graduates please stand and prepare your tassel? Mildred Ely is approved as an institution of higher education by the Regents of the State of New York and by the New York State Education Department and is accredited by the Accrediting Bureau of Health Education Schools. On the recommendation of the faculty and by the Board of Directors of Mildred Ely, and in recognition of the completion of each student's prescribed course of study, I, 
as the chairwoman of the board of directors and by the virtue of authority vested in me by the above mentioned agencies, do hereby declare that all those standing before me are graduates of this college with all the rights, obligations, and privileges pertaining to their academic achievement. Congratulations, graduates. Please move your tassel.